uh, welcome back friends in this video we'll be doing a quick uh, view or uh, about the evolution of evolution of uh, but different bioinformatics tools or sequence alignment sequence alignment tools okay okay so for each sequence alignment tool we are having a programming or algorithm to uh, to use right because algorithms are the way of how uh, the task is being handled right so for example at the very beginning at the very end so old days we are having dot matrix analysis right dot matrix or dot plot now for this dot plot it is depend upon the pairwise alignment right this particular dot plot and pairwise alignment uh, in, uh, was discovered or invented during 90s 1970s actually so in 1970s we are having this old days of dot matrix plot using pairwise alignment and only two sequence are aligned at a time in this particular time after that it is modified further and modification will lead to the generation of what we can say dynamic programming alignment dynamic programming and using those dynamic programmings what we can plot we use global and local sequence alignment so global and local sequence alignment are implicated during the 1980s or that particular time that particular time so right after this 1980s or 1985 or something uh, at those time this dynamic programming is further modified because what we need to do we need to achieve our alignment much more fast because this alignment that we are talking about this is also very slow it is simple but inaccurate and slow right and also inaccurate right this is accurate it is good uh, but slow this global and local sequence alignment these are good but they are slow what we want we want to achieve this particular task in less amount of time for that we need to increase the speed so increase the speed for increasing the speed we uh, implicate this dot matrix analysis and obviously using dynamic programming what we've created is a faster algorithm use them to produce the fast algorithm now this is also using dynamic programming now as we get this fast algorithm this is also better better than this previous things like global and local alignment so this is good and this is fast but after that we need much more faster alignment and for this much more fast alignment we need to modify this faster and we get what is called blast algorithm it is called basic local algorithm basic local alignment search tool now this blast is faster this is much more fast it is faster and it is also good to align small sequences together but again all of this process faster blast and everything we can align two sequences. We can align more than two sequences, right? For more than two sequences, we uh, for two sequences only we utilize this pairwise alignment. For now, more than two sequences. So more than two sequences can be aligned using what is called a different type of alignment technique, which is called progressive. alignment okay it's called the progressive alignment so this is the evolution and remember th this faster came at 1985 this particular time blast came 1990s after 1990s several modification of blast is done so nowadays we are having the blast as the highest rated and the mo much more faster economically viable and obviously statistically rigor type of analysis tool right so that's why 
we finally get up to this point so to uh, to remove all the confusions that were uh, creating on your mind what is pairwise alignment what is progressive alignment what is dynamic programming what is fast what is blast uh, what is faster what is blast what is global local sequence alignment everything every terminology comes into this part and that's how they have generated so it's not a branch the branching not like that the one point everything arises which we get get we get a sequential events so from this dot matrix region we are go going towards blast which is the most advanced so this is the advanced type of sequencing and for this progressive alignment we use this progressive alignment to compare more than two sequence so it is a part of multiple sequence alignment tool so there stands all of these terminologies to get rid of your confusion right so this is all about uh, the evolution of our sequence alignment tools and also bioinformatics tools and i hope that's helpful thank you